Hi everybody, Healthy Prepper here with a new idea for the Ziploc Mylar bags for uh, food storage. Now, this is my one gallon Mylar Ziploc bag and this is a little bit different. It's interesting, I wanted to point out with these, they're open at the bottom. So you load them and then you seal the bottom. So what I'm going to do, I believe these are one gallon bags, and I'm going to take some cereals that I purchased um, by couponing uh, at some, I've, I've got these recently for either $2 or less. That's my goal with the brand name cereal boxes, $2 or less. And uh, they're the big boxes, so I'm going to need some room to put them away. And I've had an experience before where I have stockpiled cereal and it went stale and I was very disappointed with that. And so my mission with this is to get my good coupon deals to stay fresh, prevent from going stale, not having any bug issues, and uh, still getting the good deals for my family uh, when I can. So I am going to use oxygen absorbers in the bag and uh, we'll go from there. So let's see how it's done. Okay everybody, here goes. I'm going to open the bag. Now apparently this is easier to load if you have a big pitcher to put it in to stabilize it whilst you pour, yet <clears throat> I do not have one of those in close reach, so I'm just going to wing it the old-fashioned way and pour it in. So I'm going to go for this box first. <clears throat> Excuse me, folks. All right. God, I haven't had brand name cereal in so long, I can't tell you. All right. It would be really nice if a large box fits in here. And apparently, it does. How's that? Let's see how that's coming up for you. Can you see that? Yep. Okay. So, <clears throat> pop that in there. Pop in my oxygen absorber. So we don't have any nasty beasties. And to keep the food nice and fresh. Flatten it out. Turn on my food saver heat sealer right now. Don't need the vacuum. We would like a vacuum, but we don't, we're not going to get a vacuum because the Mylar by itself will not vacuum seal. You need to do some fancy stuff to it. We're waiting for the day they want, they finally invent vacuum sealable Mylar. That would be a happy day. Somebody, please out there, invent it. We're waiting. All right, so there we go. It's sealed on the bottom. The nice bag. And what I'm going to do next is I'm going to. Oh, gotta grab the scissors. I'm going to find the easiest label. Actually, here's an easy one. Not a big deal. And this is so I remember what's in it. Now, if you want, you could also cut out the nutrition uh, facts and all of that, but I'm not worried about that. So I am simply going to tape this onto the front. Sorry for not having all my stuff there. Exciting morning here today. All right. Oops. And there you go. So there, I've got my uh, multigrain Cheerios ready to go in my pantry, into my food storage. I'm not worried about bugs or staleness. Uh, I feel like I have a good long life in here. It would be longer life if this was in a vacuum seal situation. So if I wanted to vacuum seal it, I would use a regular Mylar bag. Eh, you could use the Ziploc as well because it really wouldn't, wouldn't make a difference. But I would leave it open and I would put it in a clear plastic vacuum seal bag and then seal, put the Mylar bag inside the vacuum seal bag and then seal it for extremely long term food storage. But I know that the stuff is going to get eaten within the next you know, three to six to nine months. So I just want to keep it so it doesn't go stale and there are no bugs. The other good thing, remember about the Ziploc Mylar bags, is that you can reuse them. So 
A little bit of initial investment first, not much more than regular uh, Mylar bags, but when I'm done this, then I can reuse this bag for another bag of cereal. So it's really a one-time investment, and you can buy as you go as you can afford them. So there you go, folks. Another wonderful use for the lovely Ziploc Mylar bags. Take care, everyone.